Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Kansas. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the first quarter of the year 2020. And I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to be a member on my channel because as you be a member on my channel, what happened is that you can receive the extending of this first quarter. The quarter is from January, February, March, 2020. In these three months, we break them down and we can see exactly what is happening, what is transpiring, how this is affecting each and every person. Remember, this is a general reading and in order um, to know exactly what is going to be happening to you, you have to order a personalized reading. Now, if you order a year personalized reading, you will see um, every month, bowl to bowl, what will happen, okay? Each and every person, we have our own movies that we're playing. And um, by having your home personalized reading and seeing the general readings that is coming up for your own sign, then you'll be able to balance out and move through deceptive situation that you can learn to balance out, okay? So, um, Cancers, thank you for um, um, becoming a member. Oh, thank you so much for becoming a member. So we're going to go right in, um, Cancers, because this um, year is a, is a year of water. The Eye Princess is there. The Divine Feminine is there. But what is happening and transpiring is that for you, Cancers, the energy of water is here in the month of January, okay? Um, so what the energy of water in the month of January, what that is saying, there's a transition that is coming in. So in the month of January, there is also in the general readings, go check out the general readings because then you will know the mirror the mirroring from your readings and the general reading is that there is also the energy of the hermit in January, which is the general energy for the month of January. But you have transition. So information is going to come out that is going to bring transition in your world. So be aware of this because this is going to be coming up. As we move forward and we look at the month of February, it's a hot fiery month and the general energy is the hangman now you are going in within and you're trying to figure out something about a corporation a person or people in power okay so it's as if you see something happen and um or something happened to someone around you or to yourself and you're trying to figure out how that is and how that affects you so what is happening and what is transpiring is that you are trying to figure out something about it could be your boss also it could be um higher ups in your company and that sort of a thing so here we are looking at this sort of a situation and trying to figure out because it is the energy of the emperor and energy of the emperor has to do with people with powerful position, high professional people, people in government institutes, your organization, and people who use their powers in the wrong way. That's going to be happening in February. In March, another fire energy, the tower. And I'm so happy that the tower comes in. I am so happy because what transpire here when this tower moment comes in, that means the organization in um, or the company or the people who were using their power have used their power in the wrong way. And the energy of the tower comes to remove uh, this ego based uh, situation that has transpired. So I see the end coming in um, and the end is coming into someone who has deceptively used their um, information or use themselves to do something deceptive and now a tower moment comes down and this is basically good because what is happening is that with this tower moment coming down is, is as if the universal angels are saying you know it's enough it's enough it's when they step in to say it's enough and that is exactly what is transpiring so let's move in and see um what is transpiring 
um, because um, there was uh, there was just a lot that was going on. There was just extremely a lot that was going on. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta have my coffee. Oh, a lot was going on for you guys. Okay, and it's going to be happening in this year. So let's see what is happening and transparent for the Cancer Sun Moon Horizon sign. Cancer, let's see whatever that was all about. <laughs> all right, Cancer, Knight of Cups. You young people between the age of 18 and 45, whatever is coming up, you young people, there seems to be a situation where I see a transition for um this could be um a Scorpio. I see a transition with a Scorpio with people in power. Whatever this issue, the situation is, I definitely see a transition coming up especially for you young people between the ages of 18 and 45. So something is going to be ending out of the lives of the young people between the energy of 18 and 45. It could be the end of a job. It could be um, the end of uh, some situation that has transpired. We have the energy of the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the energy of someone between the age of 18 and 45. So you can, Sarah, I see um, in January something is coming to an end if you had used your power or people in um you have abused the power or people have abused your power vice versa i see this is coming to an end i see the ace of swords um the ace of swords i see communication is clear from people in power there is the end to a situation so whatever that was happening and transpiring i see that it's going to affect more of you young people between the age of 18 and 45 because i see communication i see whatever the issue and the situation is that was plain for you cancers i see an end coming to this and i see like people in power or um communicate something to you and and then the hand comes up in March okay because um, this is all about January going in February there is transformation in an organization institute see and I see it's affecting you young people between the age of 18 and 45 so let's say that you were waiting for uh, documents institute it could be your job as end as you go back to work and only to hear that um, you know, your contract is not being, um, served and that sort of a thing. And I see people in power communicating something and, or people, it can be a doctor, it can be whatever, but a tower moment is coming in for you cancers. Okay. So expect this in March. Um, and in March seems to be where the shakeup is in a uh, most of a uh, um, go cross watch. It's good to cross watch. March seems to be where the shakeup is coming in for a whole lot of signs. So I see the Ten of Swords. I see that you cancers were stabbed in the back um, by an organization. So whatever is happening and transpire, I see that. You cancers were stabbed in the back by a corporation or organization. Whatever has transpired, um, whatever has happened, it has nothing to do with someone else. But I'm saying that is um, um, a businessman, it could be a, a businessman, could be someone in an institute or organization has stabbed you in the back cancer. So you got to be aware of it. So it could be that people in authority, um, a situation where people are in authority have stabbed you in the back okay it can be that sort of a situation that is coming up so um be aware of this just be aware of what is coming up cancers because the three first months is not looking that um easy because you end up with the ten of swords cancers so be aware of that all right so um, a tower moment is coming down in March. I see, um, yeah, some of you are trying to 
clear the stuff a moment but it's coming in so fast that you're not even seeing it okay and um it, it doesn't have to uh, happen in march march it could happen in another month so whoopsie daisy be aware of that wow bam 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 yeah 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 all right so okay yes so it's 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 you know what they're saying to me what they are saying to me is as if uh, whatever has transpired whatever has transpired i see this moment is coming okay a tower moment again so you are having it's as if cancers things are losing your you're moving away from your life okay um things are moving away from your life unexpectedly and this is happening in january and that is where the transition is because some information came out in january and unexpectedly it's as if the sand underneath your feet is is leaving you so be aware of this whatever the issue is and the situation is is really as if the sand under your feet is leaving you in in in, in the month of january there's two tower moment cancers two tower moment i see some of you are having some issues uh, i see the end uh, um some of you if, if you if you're looking for a job february is going to be good look at this it's a two of cups and then communication is good okay so february if you're looking for a job if you want to connect to a new lover if you want to um network with someone start business with someone um february is going to be good of course this is a month of valentine's but that's where your luck is cancer february is where your luck is in okay so that is beautiful and you know cancers don't take it so personally because really sometimes you need to let go of certain people and certain situations because look at this in all in in um in march there's first a tower moment and then an healing come. So this is good. This is positive. So whatever you are is leaving your life in March, let it go, let it go, let it go, baby girls. Because what is transpiring is that something beautiful, extremely beautiful, is going to come in, in alignment. There is something that you have to let go in March. Let it go because something much beautiful and much wonderful is coming in. If it's a relationship, there's healing that is going to be coming in. Okay. So whatever is leaving you because the tower moment is already there. Okay. You get to let it go so that the universe can bring in what it is that you were meant to have. Okay. Oh, then we have some of you dealing um with um a taurus virgo or capricorn this person could be your parents whatever the issue and the situation is or this person could be someone who you know however this is coming up and however this is transpiring in your life um this is coming up as a mother figure so i see that some of you are going to be having some issues uh, um this could be your your mother or your your wife this is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so I see transition that is happening between you and this person if this person was sick or if there was some blockage between you and this person the blockage are going to be lifted okay I see some of you really really want to reconnect um, with this person for whatever it is I see you or you really miss this person and you want to connect with this person I see a whole lot of conflicts because um, it is the ace of swords and some of you could be having conflicts in February going in March and the conflicts is going to be removed out of your life or remove someone or some issues out of your life because I see you communicating very clearly and whatever the issue and the situation is with this conflicts, I see this conflicts is going to be removed out of your life once and for all. So that is good. Now, I see the lies and deception from um, an older woman is coming out. Now, this woman is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, okay? Oh. The lies and deception from a woman. Whoever this person is in a corporation institute, say, whoever this person is, 
all her lies she is the one who have stabbed you in the back but now at this end of the quarter what you're seeing is that she's in the reverse and you're like finding out everything that is happening so you're going to be finding out that this lady is the one that has lie and deceive whoever this lady is i'm not seeing it coming up as a mother could be a mother because some mothers are kind of weird but this is coming up as someone who you have asked uh, to help you resolve a situation it could be um a psychiatrist someone you know um a psychiatrist god knows i'm sorry just or one of these people who you work with to help you emotional have lied to you okay um it could be someone who you have gone to that have lied to you and uh, what is transpiring now is that you are finding out exactly and i see that some of you are oh my god i wish i didn't even know this person oh my god i wish i didn't even know this person you're going to be finding out uh, the deceptiveness of this person some of you some of you could be married to this woman some of you cancers are married to this woman and what has happened and transpire this woman um was aware of uh, a relationship that you had with a taurus virgo or capricorn person she was aware of the relationship and i see she did something deceptive and now you're going to be finding out because it's as if uh, um you know you, you you can't reach this person anymore and and now you're going to be finding out that this woman has a lot to do with the ending of your relationship with that person and the conflicts is going to come out and i think this woman might leave your life so if you're married to this person and so i see this um this conflict is is, is is leaving your life because you realize that this person no longer serves you so this is like you were married to this person and you were married to this person and what has transpired and happened is that um you find out the lies and deceptiveness of this woman uh Aries Lee or such towers four or five years and older the secrets are out in january okay so in january all the secrets is going to be out the secrets are going to be out in January. Whatever secrets that was kept, I see you young people, especially people who their mother is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I see a healing coming back between you and your mom, okay? So whatever that was happening between you and your mom, I see you two returning because I see um, the universe and... Uh, People in power is going to see the lies and deception that has created. And I see that you both are, they're going to be putting you back together. And this is going to be good. So there's a healing coming in for you young people. Unexpected luck is going to be coming in. All right. Something is leaving your life, but something beautiful is returning. Because you have the energy of the tower. The energy of the tower is your main energy. But after this tower moment happens, what is going to be transpiring is that love is going to be returning in your life. Some unexpected luck is going to be happening in March. So don't see March as a doom day. See March as something deceptive have to leave your life. And something beautiful is going to replace it. Okay? So don't see Mar March as a doom day. March is not a doom day. It is just a beautiful um, relief of some conflicts that was going on. Okay? And that is going to be beautiful. The end. The end of the lies and deceptiveness of this woman. Okay? Um, this woman, and, and, and some of you are so like, oh my God. And this is why I said to... Um, um you guys please please um 
Crosswatch, 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 crosswatch. Okay. Become a member of YouTube because trust me, YouTube is going to be the next streamer. But as you become a member, like from now, you're going to be having like a super extended where you see everything. You're going to be living your life because you already know what is going to happen and create your own world, create a new world. Okay. So this woman is a hint to this woman and the deceptiveness that she has done. They have found out what she has done. The end to this person. I see some of you really regrets it. I see Elin is coming in. Oh. Say thank you, um, you young people, to your mom. Because I see that your mom is the one that has helped you to regain conscious and balance. The secrets is over, and I see that unexpected luck is going to be coming in. I see the end to a conflict. So unexpected luck is going to be coming in, okay? All right. So you guys are having wonderful energies, and this is good. Your color to wear in this uh, um, quarter is blue, orange, yellow, brown, green. So let's see. We see some healing coming in. I see you're taking back your um, your power. I see you're taking back your power. Um, I see Archangel Metatron is there. Archangel uh, Raphael is there. The healing angel. Archangel Michael is there. Um, the purple is the gold and silver violet fame. And it says patient. I accept that everything happens in design in divine time. I accept that everything happens in divine time. So just have patient cancers because it's going to be working out. Have patient. Oh, the wizard of awareness. Oh my God, cancers. You have a little help on your side. All right, this is the wizard. I don't care about people. I think people should open up their awareness. But for people who work black magic and that sort of a thing, you're aware that wizards are there, okay? So um, the wizard is coming in to help you, Cancers, okay? This could be someone who you know, but this is a good, a good, um, this is good white energy, white magic, okay? This wizard only does white magic, so... All right, the chess, the chess queen, trust and strategize. Okay, the stress, the, yeah, the <laughs> chess queen. <laughs> okay, so what is happening and what is transpiring, ladies and gentlemen? We have the chess queen. And the energy of the chess queen is that, girl, this woman is, is, you know, you're taking on this energy because you saw what deceptiveness has transpired and you're really coming in, taking on this energy. I love you, Cancers. Be aware. Play the chess queen in this three months and you will be okay. I love you. Please um, um, go and um, check out what is going on. Who is this lady, Aries leader, Sagittarius, and see how this lady comes in your life, if she's a part of your friends, family, or members, or someone that was working for you. Namaste.